This morning, a strong and renewed warning from the federal government to parents with babies sleeping in drop side cribs. Those cribs can be dangerous, even deadly. Our consumer correspondent Susan Copen first broke the news of the largest crib recall in U.S. history. She's here now with more. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Harry. Just listen to these numbers. In the last five years, there have been 11 recalls involving more than 7 million cribs with drop sides. The problem, the side rail can malfunction and create a space big enough for a child to strangle. Well, now there is an effort to make sure these types of cribs are off the market for good. Michelle Witt never imagined her baby Tyler's crib could be dangerous, let alone deadly. That's every parent's safe haven for their child. And to see the horrific sight of him strangled was just horrifying to me. The 10 month old was sleeping in a crib with a drop down side when his head got stuck in a gap between the side rail and the headboard. I just immediately fell to my knees and I started screaming. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says over the past 10 years, at least 32 children have died in drop side cribs, and they may be the cause of an additional 14 deaths. Hundreds more have been injured. We have determined that it is time now to stop the manufacture of drop side cribs. Now the CPSC says it's taking aggressive action to rid the U.S. marketplace and American homes of these types of cribs. I promise this to the parents of America that we will have a new standard this year. Of the 500,000 cribs sold in the U.S. in 2008, 100,000 of them had drop sides. The problem with these cribs is the side rail, which moves up and down. Over time, it can detach from the crib, creating a space big enough for an infant to become trapped and suffocate. It's taken the government far too long to update their regulations on cribs. They need to uh, write a regulation that is going to protect children in the future. Major crib manufacturers have already agreed to a voluntary ban on drop side cribs, and some retailers, like Toys R Us, no longer sell them. But the federal ban will be far reaching, removing drop side cribs from stores, hotels, and daycare centers. We cannot have a crib that takes the lives of infants out there on the market. And if you do have a crib with a drop side, make sure it hasn't been recalled. You should check your crib very carefully. Stop using it if it's been recalled or if it has loose or missing parts. And the CPSC says it will continue to investigate drop side cribs that are still on the market, Harry. We've done this segment so many times before. It bears repeating. Show folks what happens when one of these things malfunctions and endangers the life of a child. So this is an actual recalled crib. So what happens in this case with this crib, the hardware is plastic and it would break. And so this side rail would come apart. It would mm -hmm. detach and the child could slip into this crack and actually suffocate. In some mm -hmm. cases, Parents have actually tried to fix the side rail mm -hmm. because it was broken. Right. Those fixes have failed, mm -hmm. and the children have died in those cribs. Mm -hmm. And also, this is what happens with cribs. They get passed down from child to child. They're sold in secondhand stores. Right. You may donate a crib or give a crib to a, a family member or a friend. The older these cribs get that have that side rail that goes up and down, right. more prone they are to breaking and having a malfunction with that side rail. All right. Very good advice. Thanks very much, Susan. Do appreciate it. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.